That is quality stuff. You get suckling big, almost like Vegas style. <laughs> I'm so excited. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rocking episode. And today I am out here in Waikiki at the Royal Hawaiian Center because I'm gonna be checking out one of the hottest attractions in town. I am gonna be going to Rockahula. This is the largest Hawaiian show that you can find in Waikiki. They have an all-you-can-eat dinner buffet, but they also have this 70-minute live show full of dancing, full of a lot of great entertainment. So if you guys wanna see one of the hottest attractions that you can find here in Waikiki, then this is the episode you must stick all the way to the end of so that you can see this amazing dinner show here at Waikiki at Rockahula. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly. You don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And uh, yeah, I gotta check in right now. It seems like it's almost time. Let's go, let's go. First thing you need to do is check in here. It's on the fourth floor, once again, of Royal Hawaiian Center. And I got the VIP package, which is pretty much top of the line. I think there's one more that's going above called the green room that's opening up fairly soon. But this one, the VIP for $166, you get the dinner, you get the show, you get a lot of stuff. I'm actually gonna show you all of this in this video. Before we continue on with this episode, I wanna let you guys know about some great steak knives I found through a company called Kyoku. Kyoku is a Japanese knife company that uses the art of ancient Japanese sword making with modern forging techniques to create a one-of-a-kind knife. The knives are made of Japanese VG-10 steel core, a Damascus blade, and a full tang G-10 handle with mosaic pin. The blades also have a protective silver ion PVD coating to prevent the growth of unwanted contaminants. It is extremely sharp and visually appealing. Kyoku offers not just steak knives, but knives for any occasion. To get your awesome knives, go to kyokuknives.com or you can go to amazon.com which is in the video description link to order your knives today. So enjoy. With that being said, let's get back to the show. Before the buffet starts, this is for the VIP package. I'm stressing that you get the welcoming lay, yes. Whoa, I haven't gotten these in such a long time. And this is, uh, it's fresh by the way, I feel it. Yeah, it's a real lay. One of the advantages of the VIP package is that you get to get seated first, you go up to the buffet line first, and when you go into the theater, you get seated first. Like I said, the VIP package as of this video is $166, but you might wanna check on the website just to make sure because these prices change all the time. So this is Cheyenne right here. She's gonna be taking photos for everybody. This is a separate cost, but everybody has an opportunity to get a photo at this table. Oh, yeah. oh, all right. Have a great night. That was fun. Ooh, is this a pineapple? Yeah. Yeah, fresh cut. Okay, right at your table. While I'm waiting for the buffet, I guess everybody is kind of getting seated, and you can start off with some fresh old pineapple. It's like candy sweet. Oh, it's very good. And like I said, it comes with. The Mai Tai, you can get alcoholic or non-alcoholic as part of your meal. Wow, very fruity. It's been a long time since I've had a Mai Tai. And I want to tell you guys that the VIP package is not the only one here at Rockahula. They have different packages, so I would suggest going on the website to see which one best fits your need. But I think you should go with the VIP because you get a lot for your money. So the time has come for the all-you-can-eat buffet. I see about 15 really awesome selections here, and it's a good thing that they do label everything so you know exactly what you are getting. This is the butter along with some bread. What kind of bread is it? Freshly baked taro rolls by Elvin's Bakery. Okay, that sounds pretty good. All right, and then we have some veggies for all the uh, veggie lovers, Hawaiian mixed greens with grape tomatoes be sure to get some of this and then you have two dressings the house made dressing and then we have sesame dressing nice and then here is limu tofu pokey okay 
That's pretty cool. I don't think I've seen this before. I'll, I'll try it. And then we have the homemade Lomi Lomi salmon. Oh, this is salmon. Okay. I'll try that too. And island style macaroni potato salad. And then we also have some steamed white rice. All your carbs, you see? Fried noodles, a lot of it. And then got some passion fruit roasted Uala sweet potato. I love the contrasting color, purple and gold. And then we we're getting heavier. So this is the macadamia crusted fish of the day with pickled ginger. And let's see, pickled ginger, uh, some sort of a sauce looks like. And then teriyaki glazed chicken. I love that steam smell. This is pretty much like catering style buffet, a little bit more upscale. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting so hungry. But there's more at the other station, the carving station. And that right there is the whole suckling pig. Look at that. Wow, it is big. Look how crispy that skin looks. And right here we also have USDA choice top round grade roast beef with black sea salt. And it looks like they also have a drink station too. They have the Kona blend coffee and then hot water. And then this is uh, like the sugar and cream and all that stuff. Cups obviously, and then ice water. And I think this is the first time that I'm trying a lomi lomi salad. Almost kind of looks like Mexican pico de gallo. Oh, fish, okay, I love fish. That's like hardcore scissors right there. Oh, I love the skin. What do you think guys? Do you think I took a little bit too much off of the buffet line? Everything up there looks so good. Oh man. And I had a big lunch too. I don't know how I'm going to do this to tell you the truth. Well, I like that salad dressing. Oh, good choice. Yep, you always have to have your veggies to balance out this meal that has a lot of meat. They do have some vegetarian options on the menu, so just letting you know. Vegetarian friendly. Wow, look at that. It looks so soft. You don't even need a knife to cut this. Mmm. Wow, wow, wow. That fish is pretty rocking. It is so melt in your mouth soft. I might actually like that like as my favorite out of all of them, but I haven't tried everything yet. Because there's also stuff like this teriyaki glazed chicken. Mm. That's a fairly uh, tender piece of chicken. I think I still like the fish better, but you know, chicken is always good. I wonder if I could bite into it. Oh, it's good. That thing is very crispy. I mean, not crispy to the point where it's gonna break your teeth. It's kind of like when you're eating Peking duck and you have the skin, you know, you eat it with the bun. So this is the skin right here, but then there's also the meat itself. It's been a long time since I've had pig in a luau, like 10 years at least. I think I'm more of a prime rib type of person. I think it would have been cool if they had it here, but roast beef, I'll still take it. Mm. That roast beef is very tender. It definitely tastes like something out of a buffet restaurant. I've had it in Las Vegas. Of course, I had it in Los Angeles as well. It's tasty, especially after you pour some of the juice on top horseradish, very classic, solid tasting roast beef. But then macaroni, also pretty classic Hawaiian food. So far I'm enjoying everything on this plate, so good. Yes, they do have a dance show as part of this dinner. So it's actually during your dinner. Oh, wow, that is so entertaining. I love it. Hey. And just a reminder, you can use these to get some drinks up there at the bar. You know, I don't drink alcohol that often, 
but with something like this in Hawaii, I actually enjoy it. It's pretty cool. And of course, you have to have your desserts as part of your meal. If you are into healthy stuff, there's a seasonal fresh fruit platter. Looks like they have everything from the pineapples to mangoes, strawberries. They have pretty much everything on this. Wow, this is a huge fruit platter. And then if you like this, coconut halpia, which is a very classic Hawaiian dessert. It's pretty much like a coconut jello in some ways. And then this one is a chocolate dobash cake. Very chocolatey looks like. You gotta have your ice cream as well. They got all the ice cream here, strawberry sorbet. And then we have vanilla gelato it looks like. And uh, let's see, oh, down here you have all of these toppings that you can put on top. Like rainbow sprinkles, stars, coconut, chocolate sprinkle, rainbow sprinkle. And then if you want to top it off, whipped cream, chocolate, caramel, raspberry. Yeah, guys, just have at it. Usually when I'm at buffets, I don't really get fruits that often because back in LA, it's kind of lousy sometimes, but here in Hawaii, I think it's gonna be pretty safe to eat. Seriously, Hawaii has some of the freshest, most amazing fruits here. Like more buffets, I really wish that they can have fruits that are this sweet. This makes me want to eat fruits more often, actually. And now it is time for the show, and the VIP gets to go in first to get seated. So I'm telling you, there's a lot that's involved with the VIP package. It's really the way to go. I am so excited to see this. Oh, wow. It looks like I am here. I know it's kind of hard to see in the dark. The first four rows are reserved for the VIP since I am VIP. I'm gonna have a good seat tonight. This is really a bona fide show. So in this amphitheater, which is about 750 seats, you're gonna watch a beautiful, entertaining 70 minute show. And afterwards, there's gonna be a meet and greet with the cast. So don't go anywhere, guys, because I gotta show you that. Now, I'm pretty sure you're gonna to wanna to meet them because they're pretty awesome from what I heard. excited <laughs> yeah definitely got to get a photo with mr. Michael Jackson himself oh yeah I gotta say this was really one of the most amazing things that I've ever done in all of Hawaii so yes if you are in Honolulu and you're looking for a good dinner and a show Rockahula is truly the rockin thing so yes you got to come here I'm telling you just the show itself is so worth it Go to the video description link so that you can see more details about Rockahula. So yes, big thumbs up. I enjoyed it. Food was great and the entertainment, wow, off the hook. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. You know what to do. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next food adventure in Honolulu.